sorry, I just speak hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Dr. Vipul Janardhan, and uh, I will be talking about extrapyramidal side effect of antipsychotic medication. So first, before going moving forward, uh, what is extrapyramidal side effect? side effects of antipsychotic medication. So extra pyramidal side effects are the group of or are the movement disorders that is character, uh, characterized by the uh, tremors, agitation, and uh, uh, <coughs> dystonia, orofacial dyskinesia, and some others. So why does it happen? So it is because of the when the person is in the use of the antipsychotics, it can occur because of the use of the typical as well as the atypical antipsychotics. Generally, 40 to 50 percent uh, uh, patients who have been taking antipsychotics suffer from uh, to uh, suffer from having uh, extrapyramidal side effect, but it can occur more with the typical antipsychotics the ratio is more with the atypical psychotics but anti atypical antipsychotics also have these type of side effects so how do we manage these side effects the question is that so uh, while uh, when we know we have to take the detailed history and evaluation should be done when we came to know that patient is having antipsychotics and uh, when he came to the opd or emergency as well uh, so detail history and evolution is important and uh, since this is a medical emergency so we have to be very cautious about that and uh, we have to speak about the these that these are the psychoeducation is an important part and we have to tell the patient that the part, that these are because of that and halt the medication or halt the uh, discontinue the deterrent agent uh, while person uh, w w whatever the <laughs> inserting agent he is on and along with that uh, whether we should look whether he, uh, the person require hospitalization or critical care management or in what stages that we have to decide it and uh, along with that we can give the uh, medication like uh, promethazine and other med medication vital monitoring and other things are important uh, in this uh, since antipsychotic medications what we are giving uh, can cause uh, these EPS. There are some other agent also like anti-emetic, metachloropromide. These are the other agent that can also cause uh, extra pyramidal side effect. So we have to evaluate whether this is also this could be the other reason also. Uh, yes, that all. Uh, that, that's all about anti uh, EPS. So you mentioned something yeah. like dystonia. Can you explain that dystonia? So you mentioned that. So dystonia is a movement disorder. So it is a uh, in which there is group of muscle uh, that got, uh, that has a spasmodic uh, contraction of that. Uh, dystonia like torticollis is a dis part of dystonia. Blepharospasm is a dystonia. These are the so involvement of the group of muscles uh, that has a abnormal contraction. So what? So you mentioned a new word: torticollis and ble blepharospasm. What are torticollis? Oh, this is the. I'm just uh, telling you the example of dystonia that uh, because it you involving of the some uh, group of muscles. Uh, torticollis is abnormal movement of the uh, neck, that is, oh. and glyphospasm is the abnormal movement of the eyelids. Are these movements painful? Yeah, when it is because since when it occurs uh, because uh, a longer duration of time it can cause pain um, you're right okay. and uh, it does not look cosmetically to the good to the patient as well as uh, there is because since it has uh, occurred to the uh, longer duration of time it, it is difficult for the patient to bear all these things mm. is it is it something temporary or is this permanent extra pyramidal side effect generally when the when we uh, take off the medication so it generally are reversible but uh, there are few case reported uh, cases reported that they say that uh, even after taking the medication taking off the medication the patient is still having some some type uh, sometimes uh, of extra pyramidal sy symptoms and moreover uh, 
moreover when uh, when they discontinue the medication the it uh, the extra pyramidal symptom is still persisted so uh, so uh, in the usual in generally uh, most of the cases uh, these uh, the when we took off the medication uh, when we the extra pyramidal symptoms does not occur but in certain cases and uh, few cases it it stays stays back and uh, it was irreversible and uh, uh, when the duration of the antipsychotics are more um, more even when uh, the extra pyramidal symptoms then also it is a, it is known cause that uh, it has a irreversible effect of the uh, antipsychotic medication can i ask you so why was it called, being called extra pyramidal side effects so extra pyramidal side effects why is that actually uh, i think uh, be, because of when we this the pyramid pyramidal tracts uh, in the brain in the cns so uh, so these are the agent that act on the d2 receptors uh, and uh, so p- probably because of that uh, that location of the brain that is called uh, that is called extra pyramidal side effect that is okay, what Okay, is a can you mention some of the medications you said antipsychotics but if you can mention some names that would be great for people to use. Uh haloperidol are uh, like uh, it is a typical antipsychotics and uh, most uh, like a uh, lot of patient uh, of having a haloperidol may suffer from a extra pyramidal side effect. and uh, like it can also occur with risperidone olanzapine and even with the clozapine also uh, these are the atypical side effect atypical antipsychotics but it can occur also with that 